Hello world, it's Mr. Resistor back to continue our Alpha Nubro experience. Um, so yesterday we traveled to Amar Space to participate in the uh, Foundation Day event. Um, so what we're going to do today is uh, go participate in the parade and then we will hopefully do a probably a level one security mission so uh, our parade today is in Cador Prime five jumps not too bad uh, we're gonna just take everything with us um, real quick, I forgot to grab my normal login rewards today. Um, always grab these. I mean, you know, maybe it's a ship skin you don't want, but you know, often get skill points and skins are kind of cool, you know. Um, so anyway... Um, if you don't remember, it'll remind you right down here. So let's go ahead and claim those. And here we go. Drive active. All right, well, excuse my silence there. Um, well, <laughs> silent for you anyway. You seem to have a bit of a cough. So, hopefully you don't catch any of it. I know how unpleasant that can be, especially if you're wearing Drive headphones. Active. So I do my best to save you from it. Um, anyway, as I was about to say, it seems like I might have told a bit of a fib yesterday, as I'm still figuring out how YouTube works. Um, and uh, I uploaded the wrong video. First, I, uh, I uploaded my video from day three instead of day one. So, um, day one video is up. The day two video is uploading because um, it is drive active. considerably longer. Um, hopefully it'll be up tonight and I'll and uh, nothing will go wrong and I'll I'll start scheduling uh, publishing dates um, and yeah so plan is to have a new video up every day um, I don't know until I get bored of this, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. Bob drive active. <clears throat> I have to say 
I do really kind of like the look of the Slasher. It's just a cool looking ship. Alright. Uh, there's our fleet. Warp drive active. Should adjust these a little bit, maybe. Uriam the Fiery Heart. <clears throat> All right. Oh, that's big. There we go. Got our points. Um, so now we're going to drive active jump into the station here and docking permission requested docking request accepted we will open up the agency <clears throat> got distribution quests this isn't a great ship for doing distribution um Level one, we might be okay, but you know you can get up to a hundred, couple hundred uh, M cubed. So better to have a larger ship for those. Uh, let's see. We want level one, um, and I think yeah. So Amar Empire, we're at minus. 0.41 um, the other one we're definitely going to be negative with that we care about for now is going to be Kaldari All right minus 0 0.17 um, so essentially how the how the system works is Amar and Minmatar are opposed our enemies Right, Kaldari and Galente are enemies. Amar and Kaldari are allies, and Galente and Amar are allies. Um, so, what this means is, um, when we gain faction repu reputation with Minmatar, we will also gain some with Galente, albeit a lesser amount, but we will lose. Um, uh, standing with Amar, and then there will be a also be a secondary, but lesser penalty to our Kaldari standing. So um, that's essentially how that goes. Um, so for now, we're going to focus on Amar, even though Kaldari is also negative. Improving our Amar standing should also benefit our Kaldari standing. Um, so, yeah, the Theology Council. Okay. So, head to Orb Drive active. Boronai. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is basically, um, even though this isn't optimal, um, I'm just going to do a mission from whatever agent happens to be closest uh, on the day. Um, usually you want to stick to one or two mission Earth agents um, because um, you're increasing your standing with that agent. 
and as your state your standing gets higher with that agent um, you'll get better rewards so um, docking permission requested docking request accepted but what we're what we really care about of course is here is uh, faction standing so it shouldn't make a huge difference um, but I'm not an expert on how the uh, how that system works so I could be wrong all right hopefully we won't just get murdered oh wait a minute ha <laughs> ha ah docking permission requested I forgot docking permission requested docking request accepted I forgot to swap out my festival launcher for the salvager gonna want that All right, so you may have noticed before that I pretty much always repackage things. Uh, well, I didn't when I was going through the career missions, but now I will. Um, it's because, as you can see, this takes up 20 uh, M cubed, repackaged. Well, it still takes 20. Um, but if we get another one of these, they'll stack. Um, so we can help uh, manage our inventory a little bit. All right, now for real, we're gonna go do this mission. Another thing that I feel like I've probably mentioned before um, is uh, whether or not it's really beneficial to salvage. Um, I personally like to do it and I feel weird when I don't. Um, but I think technically you're talking um, ISK per hour, which is how a lot of people measure their performance within the game. Um, I think it's often considered better not to salvage. Um, but, you know, I'm not... Uh, I'm here to maximize my enjoyment, not my in-game income. So... <clears throat> drive active that said if, uh, if maximizing your risk per hour is your jam that might be something to consider um, you know you can do missions faster by not taking the time to uh, to salvage uh, maybe end up making more money Orb drive active Give ourselves a little blip on the micro warp to get there fast. And. It's closest. failed to 
That's why. I thought I pulsed my mo my micro warp, but apparently I didn't. Just wondering why I was going so fast. What are they hitting us with? Thermal and electrical. Sadly, we don't have resistances to those. All right. These other guys don't seem to have aggroed yet. So, we'll give our shields a second to recover while we salvage. <clears throat> Sometimes, I mean, especially when you've got a weak fitting on your ship, like I do, um, it's important to pace yourself. Um, and of course, always remember to reload. As I, as I did this time, but not always. Um, and yeah, probably. So let's see. At some point, we're gonna want to replace. Well, we'll probably replace uh, both of these with a multi-spectrum, and maybe, uh, maybe an EM reinforcement for while we're here and in uh in a mars space uh we'll see you know maybe maybe we'll get lucky and get one as loot um <clears throat> not from drones though uh from drones all you get is salvage which is fine. Uh, these are worth money. One of the things I like to do while salvaging it, <clears throat> um, is kind of plan my route um, to be a little more efficient. I mean, ideally, <clears throat> ideally, you're never um, your salvaging laser is never inactive for longer than the time it takes to reactivated on the next target um, 
and uh, so that can take a little bit of planning sometimes. All right, let's try to actually pulse our micro warp. Okay, it's red this time. So that means it should only go for one cycle. reload while we've got a second. If we're lucky, we'll be able to salvage these guys before those other three get to us. forget about that. Okay, well, we did finish the salvaging, just not quite before they got to us, but that's okay. Right, so uh, just to be clear about what I'm doing here, right, I'm currently orbiting and shooting this guy. I've got this guy selected as my next target. So as soon as that previous one died, I start or orbiting him. Um, and then I hit uh, F1 because my guns are in the F1 slot, as you can see up there in the right hand, upper right corner of the pop-up. And reload. <clears throat> we are probably going to have to buy some ammo. But probably not today. Maybe we'll deal with that tomorrow.
All right, and off through the acceleration gate. Warp drive active. And away we go. All right, so um, in case you're wondering, uh, I'm using control click to automatically target um, when I pick one of these guys. It saves me a little bit of mouse movement. Um, anytime that you are going to orbit something, right, and this is kind of important. This guy here is the one that's targeted for our guns, but this guy, if we hit orbit right now, this is the guy that's gonna, that we're gonna actually orbit. So we want to make sure that we have selected and highlighted the one that we actually want to orbit. Um, <clears throat> That's something that I screw up regularly. Um, uh oh. Shields are getting low. Hopefully, there's not another wave. All right. We've got the danger signal. Yeah, so I think what we probably want to do is uh, a small shield extender. Ooh, we're going to have repair costs. I don't like that. Yeah, we want to put a small shield extender and a uh, multi-spectrum hardener. And that should be fine. For level one missions. Um, as a general rule, uh, I find that, that, that that's sufficient. If it's not, then uh, you try putting shield booster on here. Okay. Looks like that was it. So we'll reload. Yep, we're going to need more ammo. Reload and start our salvaging. So, 72% <clears throat> into our armor. Not great. But, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, at least it's just armor, so our repair bill shouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> uh, 
So yeah, as I was just saying earlier, a little bit of route planning here. I know I can reach all four of these from this one. If I salvage this guy first, then I can move over here and uh, while I'm salvaging this one in the middle, move to that one, then I'll be in range for that guy. So yeah. Route planning. No asteroids in here. Not that we could do anything about it. But trying to develop the habit of checking, you know, just to, just to be sure. We're waiting on this. Let's double check our skills. So let's see, mining upgrades. Good. Let's see. We probably want to focus on our fighting skills right now. So let's go ahead and change our skill queue a little bit. Uh, capacitor. Not terribly concerned about capacitor. Um, Let's see, trajectory analysis, surgical strike. Uh, a small energy turret we don't necessarily care about. Let's see, three days, three days, three days. So this will, so better tracking. Uh, Shoots faster, better optimal range. Uh, let's see. So optimal range, probably do rapid firing. <coughs> Small projectile turret. Bonus damage, let's see. That's faster, so we'll put that there. Go ahead and put that at the front. Let it finish up. Um, let's see. Gunnery. It's another nine days, so we'll put that here. Um, let's see. Control bursts. Uh, what else do we want? Surgical strike.
that there. Trajectory analysis. Accuracy fall off. Uh, put that there. So, not worried about control bursts right now because projectile turrets don't use capacitor. Um, one of the cool things about them. Uh, if we ever get into like hybrid turrets or energy turrets, then uh, that would definitely become relevant. So, ah, uh, let's see. I think that's it for here. So then the other thing we really want to make sure we're not shirking on is shields. And we are shirking on our shields. So let's see. Paused? Why? Why have we paused? Did we hit our limit or something? What's going on here? No. We have too many skills in our queue. be too much of the queue. That's my guess. All right. Let's go ahead and we can remove these because we're not going to be doing those soon. Oh, we don't have the skill. Ha! I wonder why that paused it. All right. Well, let's see. All right. I'll put that in here. Shield compensation. Oh, but we don't own it yet. Shield emission systems. Uh, not relevant to us right now. Shield upgrades. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that. Tactical shield manipulation. All right, that's looking a little bit better. Okay. So let's go turn this in. Active. Then uh, 
we doing on time? 40 minutes? Drive active. Hmm. All right, so Talking permission I, requested. What I might do Talking then request accepted tomorrow. Uh, So we'll start conversation, complete the mission. Thank you. And then we will uh, get a repair quote. 6,000. Okay. All right, so. Let's see what we've got here. Um, as I was saying earlier, I like phased plasma. Um, Amar uh, Morris Emperor Family Academy is the main trading hub in this part of space, so. We're going to go ahead and set destination there. <coughs> and so we'll, uh, so we should be able to get the both best prices for, for buying, um, drive, maybe better active. prices in other areas for selling and you know, we'll keep an eye on that. And if there are, then maybe we'll go and check those opportunities. But uh, Drive active. So let's see if we open this up. Let's go ahead and simulate. So let's see. Don't need that, don't need that. Um, Orb drive active. Oh, right. Ha. Um, okay, so damage control. We can put a damage control too. So look at what that that does for our resistances. Pretty good. Um, 376,000. Docking permission requested. Oof. Docking so request you can see this accepted. one is considerably more. Um, and it's basically just because it's uh, <coughs> um, requires less skills to fit. So, you know, more people are able to use it. Um, Damage control one. All right, so go ahead and fit that. Go to mid slot. So let's see, CPU, power grid is the same. Yeah, it 
looks like Azeotropic is the one we want. And then we want multi-spectrum. So <coughs> this is where we're going to be looking at. capacitor use. Um, so we'll go with either the the compact or the enduring, right? Um, pretty close in price. Basically the same uh, in effect. The compact is easier to fit. Um, if you look down there at the CPU, the enduring takes more CPU, but needs less capacitor. So, uh, so that means we can run it a little bit longer. Now, this is a, this uh, this number is assuming that we have all of our modules that use capacitor active at once. Now, obviously, uh, we pulse the micro warp drive. We're probably we're usually not using the salvage in combat um, I haven't really used the uh, in fact I'm probably just gonna unfit the uh, webifier um, so go ahead and fit that let's dump that um, And I want to put in there maybe uh, maybe a resistance amplifier. go with one of those that should help us considerably right so you can see we've got much better resistance so our shield's going to last longer especially against em and thermal um, which is the main damage types that we're taking here um, pretty reasonable 3500 effective um, so here's our actual um, and this is how much we regain uh, per second. So um, this number, well, all of these numbers combined with the resists, combined with this, goes through some sort of some sort of formula that I've never taken the time to understand, and gives us this number. And uh, I think I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with the way this fit looks. Um, this seems like it's a fit that's going to do us pretty well for a while. Um, we can, of course, improve it further um, with rigs. I'm not going to do that just yet. All right, so now that we've got our fitting chosen, remember that we are in simulation, so we haven't made any actual changes. To our ship. We're going to fit that. And it's going to come up with a list. There we go. Uh, so these, is, these are all the things that we don't own currently. So I'll go ahead and uh, check market details. Um, Alright, so we can get that here. Get that here. Get that here. And we can get that here. Um, now, in this case, I could have just selected by all it would automatically come up with a list um, 
buying from my current station. Uh, I think there's some other. I never do it that way. I always go through individually, check market prices. Because every once in a while, you know, like, say for example, maybe this one was super cheap. Um, you know, it might be worth it for me to take the three jumps to go pick that up. Um, in this case, it's not. Uh, you know, but sometimes it is. Alright, just to make sure we got all those things. Cool. So close, pit ship again. Right, now uh, I'm going to repackage all of these. And select the things I don't want to sell. Convert selection, move them to my hangar. Um, oh yeah, and we need ammo, so phased plasma S and we will buy say 1,000 of those. Go ahead and put that in there so we don't forget. And let's go ahead and sell this stuff. So now I always like to, um, you can't just go straight to sell. I like to view market details um, to see what's available, right? So for, because for this right now, I can sell it immediately for 1,000 or if I'm willing to wait a little bit, I can get 20,000. So, you know, why not? So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> not sell immediate. I'll just leave it up for as long as it takes. And... But I don't want it to take that long. Um, I have found, right, sometimes if you put in a value... Um, if I went an extra nine here, it would just put it in at 20,000. Uh, so it's basically like you've got four significant figures to play with. And so that's typically what I'll do. I'll take the lowest price. Um, unless it's crazy low. Um, and I'll just go one lower in the fourth, you know, uh, what? <laughs> fourth greatest uh fourth most significant digit that's what i'm looking for yeah that might earn math paying off um all right so there's my sale it's up for 90 days um will probably be sold by tomorrow so let's see compact kinetic so in this case <clears throat> um, you can see 5150, um, 5151. So what probably happened here is this person thought that they were s that they were selling immediate, but they actually had uh, 30 days selected, um, and uh, and so now that's just on the market but you know seven thousands not that much more so i'm gonna go ahead and sell immediate you know and part of that is because i've got a limited number of market orders that i can have at one time so you know if the price here is good compared to the sell price then i'll go ahead and sell immediate just take what i can get so this <clears throat> has a civilian module. There's some market manipulation. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
I guess if they're buying it, we'll go ahead and sell it to them. Um, most civilian, a lot of civilian modules you actually can't sell. So if we can get a couple of ISK out of it, then I'm fine with that. And let's see. Huh, okay. I guess I didn't have buy orders so sorted by price. Weird. Uh, let's see, 1400, 1800, 2400. So we're looking at what, like a 30% difference there. Um, okay, so that is enough of a difference that this might be worth, uh, this might be considered an arbitrage opportunity. So here's the question, can I afford to buy all of these? Yes, I can. Alright, so now I got 42 of these things. So, um, with our sales tax, right, we just paid tax uh, on our purchase as well. Um, sales tax and broker fee puts that up to 11%, right? So, remember, we were looking at about a 30%. Uh, profit, so we're losing 11% here. Um, uh, oh, what's the sales tax on buying? Is that in our uh, let's see market transactions? Can we look at details? All right. Well, anyway, let's just say we're losing, we're losing twenty percent. Um, in fees, so in theory, we're making somewhere in the neighborhood of ten percent profit. That's my hope. Right, four significant places next to that guy. There we go. Hopefully, we make some money. And uh, also, there's your economics lesson for the day. In case you wondered what arbitrage meant, those are the opportunities uh, where we have a discrepancy between <coughs> between the price at which something is available to us and the price at which we can sell it. Um, that favors us, that is an arbitrage opportunity. Um, all right, so what's our difference here? Like about one or two percent. Go ahead and sell immediate. All right, so that's about double between the buy and the sell. So. We'll do a sell order. That'll be seven, four, four, eight. Here we have another what looks like an arbitrage opportunity, right? Because it's about double. All right, so risking 394,000 esk. Okay. I feel pretty confident. Uh, so three nine nine nine. There we go. Right. So spent three hundred ninety four. Uh, or gross 
669. Nice. Um, so even after our fees, we're still going to be making a pretty good profit, I think. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's always good to be keeping an eye out for those kind of opportunities. Uh, let's see, so, that's about 10% difference, that's kind of around the, around the time when I start thinking about whether I want to wait or not. I think in this case I'm just going to go immediate. So uh, note that there's no broker's fee there, um, so that saved us about 3% in tax. Another thing you can kind of look for, especially if there's a gap in the prices, um, is uh, we'll go ahead and sell this, sell that immediate. It's close enough. Um, if someone <laughs> like myself is selling like one of something. Um, and they've got a, you know, and then there's a gap between the, the next, um, seller can go immediate too. Um, you know, then I might not, I might go with the next seller as the price that I base my sale off of. And here we've got another arbitrage opportunity. So, um, so you might notice I started to type 100, right? Um, and as long as you type a number that's higher than the one here, it'll set it to that. And so sometimes that's just easier. Um, all right, so let's make a note again. 400, let's call it 419,000. And we'll go with uh, thirteen eighty eight. Zero. Yes. Haha. -ha. Um, all right, so four hundred nineteen to uh, what six ninety two. Minus about 85, so call it 600. Um, yeah, so well, that's a eh, 180 ish thousand in profit. Um, so, yeah, you know, those are, those are the kind of opportunities you want to look for. Um, one other thing that can happen, let's, um, let's go ahead and Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look at guns, maybe. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> so here's one of those, <clears throat> one of those situations, right? Let's just say for the sake of argument that this was in the, um, in the same station. Um, so you've got this gap here. This guy is only selling one of them. Um, now we know nobody fits one of these. Right, pretty much. If you're fitting one of the, if you're fitting one of these, you're going to be fitting at least two, probably three, depending on the ship. Um, if they're running a Thrasher, then you're looking at what seven, I think. Right. So nobody's nobody's buying just one of these. Right. So um, 
so I wouldn't worry about trying to sell before this guy because anyone who's going to buy this one is going to be is going to be buying the next one also because they need a set so I can be reasonably sure that they're going to buy mine if I just put it before the second seller um, you know and so those kinds of calculations can help you make a lot more money when you're selling stuff um, and yeah you know just remember to always check the market um, and don't just sell immediately you know that's uh it's a player driven economy and that gives you opportunities so if you take advantage of them you can make a decent amount of money um anyway that's gonna be it for us today so let's check what we got here all right earn a hundred thousand isk on the market spend two hundred fifty thousand on the market spend a million on the market earn 250k on the market earn 50k on the market complete level one security agent mission spend 500k on the market earn 50 loyalty points very cool all right so um since i think Right, what we're doing mostly right now is going to be under enforcer activities. Yeah, so we've got security agent missions. Um, let's see, combat, destroying enemy ships, uh, bounties, which we're going to be earning while we kill stuff, and loyalty points, all except for the spending. Right, we'll be earning them uh, as we do missions. So, um, negotiation, okay. Let's go ahead and redeem all of those. We got a frigate, cool. Got a rifter. Uh, I think we've got two more of those back home, so. Let's go ahead and sell this guy. Oh, almost forgot to follow my own rule. All right. Oof. 225, 239. Yeah, that's the downside of selling a Minmatar ship in a Mars space. Um, so, well. We've got plenty of remaining slots open, so let's go ahead and go for, so it'll be two, three, nine, six, oh, sell that. Rifter's a good ship. Um, it was my go-to frigate for a long time. Um, and it's just that, uh, I don't know if there were some changes or where I just hadn't looked at this, at the, uh, slasher much previously, but I found that I, I like it a little bit better these days. All right. So, um, anyway, as I was saying, probably what I'm going to do tomorrow is, uh, activate the enforcer expert system that's going to boost um, a bunch of those relevant skills that we were looking at right so does it tell us skills right so it's going to give us a bunch of frigate skills um i think we're already good right so a bunch of our shooting skills, mechanics, uh, let's see, shield skills, right, shield management, uh, 
and the tar frigate we've already got. So, yeah. So it looks like mostly it's shield skills and a couple of our gunnery skills are going to be the <clears throat> the big benefit. Um, but uh, yeah, um, so that'll be what we'll do tomorrow. And let's see, uh, negotiation, very good, and broker relations, okay, so close these, and let's look at our, so social, negotiation, get us more pay, so that's, uh, Four minutes, we'll go ahead and put that there. Uh, two hours and 36 minutes, we'll put that there. <coughs> Since we're going to be using our expert system. And let's see, what was the other one? Broker relations goes under trade. That'll reduce our sales tax, I believe. Yep. So. Uh, we'll put that here, and put that there, and so we should have both of those trained when we log in tomorrow. And let's see, what else do we have? Marketing, right, okay. So that's going to be actually it for us today, so uh, until next time, have a good one.